first thing we're going to do is stack the tires in here. We're going to take, spe take special caution, put them into the corners, trying to get a nice even knit. Currently there are approximately 20 tires in here. At this point we're going to shut the door. Once the tires start getting up we want to close the door so we can continue dropping tires in. Tires are filled up. Stop the gate. Cycle button. shut it off. Then we inspect all these wire slots back here to make sure they're free. It is possible to bump the ram up a few inches just to clear out the wire slots. Uh, then we want to take these retainer dogs, lift them up, and put the pins in so they do not engage when we go to eject the bale. After the back is positioned, we want to open up the door. First thing, we want to make sure everybody is clear in front of the door. Stand to the side. And slowly open the door. Physically open the door all the way. Straps and around the bale. We can use baling wire here in the shop, but we happen to have uh, some strapping. Uh, we can just put it off stuff. Slowly feed the wire through. 
the other side. And the other side feeds it through back to the other side. the holes except two second ones in which are in line with the ejector change which they're going to use to eject the bale. That's, yeah, that's good. That's good. Alright. With the bale tied off with all six straps, we can move around to the back and connect our ejector change. One goes there, the other goes there. Verify that our retainer dogs are retracted. With the ejector chains on, we push it to the up button. 